to another Game Dev video update. This time we're going back to our breakout game, and right away you may notice a lot of differences. That's right, the game actually has a title now. Um, instead of calling it Breakout's Revenge, I'm calling it Wars. That's going to be the real title for the rest of the development period and for the final product. Another thing that's different from Build 1 is that I've upgraded from Game Maker Lite to Game Maker Pro. And what this allows me to do is it added more convenient functions, uh, which allows me to add some more features to the game that I wouldn't normally have been able to do using the light version. As far as gameplay goes, um, I've added bricks, which, you, as you know from episode one, um, we didn't have, which was an important part as far as core gameplay. Now that I have bricks in the game, I added a little bit of level progression into it uh, in the fact that once you clear a room, uh, you go to the next room full of bricks. The only problem is the rooms are all exactly the same. So you go from one room to the next to the next, and it's the exact same thing over and over and over and over again. But me talking about it and me showing it to you are two completely different things. So let's go to the game demonstration. <laughs> Right off the bat, you'll notice I've added a title screen to the game. Um, from here, using the arrow keys, you can select um, if you want to play the game or if you want to quit. If you select quit, it exits the game, simple as that. Or if you hit play, it just goes right into the game. And as you'll notice, it looks a lot different than the last time. Um, I've updated the sprites for the ball and the paddle, and I've added bricks. Every time you hit a brick, you gain 10 points, and the brick disappears when there's a collision. And once you destroy all the bricks, you move on to the next level. Simple as that. Like I said, every level is the same, and I'll, I'll show you that uh, the farther I get here. As you'll notice, we have a very different side sidebar on our screen. Um, my little goofy face is still there, uh, smiling, and when we lose a life, you'll see he's not very happy still. Um, but the biggest difference is the top where it displays the lives and the score. Um, that is one of the newer features in the Pro version. Well, when you upgrade from Light to Pro, it's not really a new feature. Um, it's called Sprite Text. It allows you to use um, created sprites that you define as text to display by the game. So you take um, the sprites, tell the game what to use it for. For example, I bound it to the score variable and it shows the um, the score not as your typical fonts that you're used to but as pictures instead which is kinda nice because I can do a lot of different cool effects with it and kind of allow it to be more cohesive to the overall look of the game. Um, another thing I added if you noticed is the little trail behind the ball and the paddle here um, that was, uh, I found that little script on uh, yoyogames.com where Game Maker is housed, is hosted, and uh, someone created this script to add trails to sprites as they move or what have you. It's a nice little effect, and um, it's a couple lines of code and I think two or three scripts that I added to my game, um, and I think it gives off a nice effect. Also, as you notice, now that we've been playing for a little while, the ball is going much faster than it did um, when we started. Uh, that's the little bit of difficulty that this game has right now, is the longer you play and the longer it takes you to clear a room, the faster the ball gets, the harder it is for you to keep, um, keep track of it. But now that we're getting down to the last two, oh, there they go, um, you notice we switch now to a new room. Looks exactly the same as the last room. Um, but and that's basically it. You just keep doing this until you lose your lives, and I still have three of mine, so I think it's about time we lose a few um, to get this show on the road. So, oh, I missed. And, okay, we'll hit again. And as you notice, the face changed again. Keep going. And, I mean, this level, level two is much harder than level, uh, <laughs> level one, so we lose all three of our lives and we still get the same uh, window 
the USEC window that I do plan on changing in the next few uh, um, uh, builds because there's nothing like a window telling that you suck or a game telling you you suck uh, to want you to come back for more. Anyway, you come back to the uh, um, high score screen like you did, did in the first build, and again, you can put your name is uh, name in. Um, as you can see, I did a recording earlier, and uh, I've already typed something in, but I will put something in here for the heck of it. Okay. Sorry. Now we got, put your name in, you hit enter or escape, and it goes back to the title screen, and you can play again as many times as you wish, and uh, that's basically it for uh, Orbs Build 2. So what can you expect from this game uh, in the future? Well, now that I've gotten the bricks and the core gameplay all straightened out, everything else that's left is just little intricate, intricate things and more interesting things. Like, I plan on adding power-ups, um, brick variation, different types of bricks, um, little things this and that. I'm not quite sure of all that I'm going to add, but I plan on adding a lot more little uh, fun gameplay elements to make this game a little bit more interesting. Also in the next coming builds, I plan on making a working build that I can post online so you can play um, my game and give me your feedback, whether you like it, what you, or what you do like, what you don't like, um, what I should change, what I should keep, whatever, you know, what have you. And uh, that way I can, you know, make little tiny tweaks if I need to, to make the game really good. Beyond that, I've been really looking into uh, 3D game engines, specifically Unity 3D, and uh, starting endeavors into 3D game development. The only thing that's stopping me right now is I'm actually uh, getting a new computer uh, soon in the next few months. So once I get that, I will start creating some three-dimensional games, and uh, I will absolutely post them in coming episodes. I think it's pretty safe to say that my game has gone through a lot of changes since the first build, which is a good thing. I'm really excited how it's turning out, and uh, I can only go up from here. So if you have any questions on anything I didn't cover, or something I did cover that you're unsure about, or any concerns, comments, feel free to leave them right down there. And uh, if you want, subscribe. I could always use some more of those. And I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>